Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to showcase this incredible new VR mod that's running natively on my Quest 3 right now from the Team Beef guys. This is the newest mod from the team that brought us Half-Life on the Quest, uh, Wolfenstein on the Quest, Doom on the Quest, Doom 3 on the Quest, Star Wars Jedi Academy on the Quest. These guys make incredible VR mods and they're back again with the original Tomb Raider. This is Tomb Raider 1 <laughs> running in first person with full motion controls in VR. I, I don't know how they do it. I mean, look at my shadow. <laughs> you can even see. It's... It... I've even got my little like triangle boobies. Oh, there they are, if I look down. I've got a full, I've got, there's my, I have to look past the boobs to look down and see my feet. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video. I can see my little tummy as well. That, this is insane. This is the whole original game. This is the first Tomb Raider game. Completely playable in VR in first person. Natively on your quest. So I'm not hooked up to a PC right now. I had to hook it up to a PC to move the files onto the quest. But after that, after the files are on there... You're good to go. You don't have to continue to be attached to the PC. Amazing. I wish I could actually play that piano. Can you just like mod in some, some noises if I come over here and move my hands around? Look at the shadows! Shadows are so cool. Now, I do have a few like concerns, um, I guess, about this mod. It's a really odd game to pick to mod into first person motion controlled VR. I can't get over the shadows, I love how they're actually following what I'm doing. Now, the reason I think it's an odd choice is because Tomb Raider, the originals anyway, have a very specific mechanical control scheme that you really do have to learn and gel with to play these games. I've been playing the remastered trilogy recently, and in the remastered trilogy they added a modern control scheme, and I physically I can't play the game with the modern control scheme because so much of it just doesn't work the way it was intended to work in the original. So I'm playing with the original control scheme. Now this mod has had to make some changes, um, but it does look like they've attempted to keep as much intact as they can and converted a lot of the controls onto, well all of the controls really, onto the touch controllers. So if you hold grip on the left controller, you walk because walking is a really important part of Tomb Raider because that's how you go to the edge of something without falling off. Um, you can still do things like the back flip. Hold on, let me see if I can actually do it. There we go, there's the, <laughs> there's the back flip. I kind of came out of my body. Yeah, I can't quite do the side step jump, like the flip to the side. I'm not sure how I do that. Um, I'm sure if I put some more time in and practice it, I'll figure it out. But it's things like that that worry me slightly because the controls in this are so integral to being able to progress through. Ah! <laughs> Oh, did I actually... Okay, I nearly died then. How do I get up? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, that's just trigger. Okay, that's that's cool. So if I hold the walk button and walk to the edge of the box... Okay, I can't walk off of it now. That's great. And then if I hold that... Oh, you know what? That's pretty good. You can still, like... Gr okay. Okay. I should have more faith in Team Beef. They haven't really steered me wrong before. And they do put a lot of thought into these VR mods. Now, in the original, if you hold jump as you go towards a ledge, I think she jumps at, as you hit, like, the edge of it. I think that's still working. Okay, yeah, that does seem to be working. Um, you know what? It, it's probably going to be okay. It's probably going to be playable. Ah! <laughs> Except for when you do that. Okay, you, you know what? It's probably going to be all right. It's probably going to be okay. This is crazy. It looks so cool. Now, you can't convert this to, like, the new remastered visuals. It is just the original game. Um, so if you have the remastered version on Steam, the good news is you have the right files to be able to convert this into VR and play it on your Quest. Um, but you can't use those new remastered textures and visuals. That They are off-limits. It's just how the original looks. And, and I kind of love that. Um, I really do hope you can see my little belly and, and legs when I look down. I never know where the quest can, like cuts off its recording, but you can actually look past the boobs and see your legs and belly, it's great. How does swimming work? Okay, so you just hold A to 
do a stroke, and then you just go where you're looking. Okay, <laughs> it looks really good. Let's go into an actual level and shoot some stuff. Uh, where do I get to that? New game, here we go. Even like the menus are really good. New game, let's go. Oh, straight in. St straight in with, with no loading or cutscenes. Holy hell, where are my guns? Do I have any guns? Oh, she's got the classic outfit on now. Look, look. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, she's spinning around. She's freaking out. There's her legs. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see like the blue tank top. There they are. Blue triangle boobies. Man, this is bonkers. Okay, right. There's some arrows here. They're going to try and murder me. Do they just set off automatically? I think they do. Ah! Ah, ah! No! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't know if any of them hit me. <laughs> I think I managed to dodge them. I'm not sure how. Do, do I not start with a gun in this game? Let's do some climbing. So if you hold trigger... Yep, she just mantles up the smaller ledges. Nice and easy. There we go. Um, yeah, a little bit kind of like glitchy, some of the interactions. But it, it works. Oh, no bats! How do I get guns out? Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Okay, I've got guns. How do I... Take that, you stupid bat. All right, come here. Okay, so B, oh, gets your guns out and puts them away. B, big, blocky, chunky guns, and then put them away again. That is phenomenal. That is so flipping cool. But I guess you have to remember to put them away before you try to do big jumps and grab ledges and stuff because you, you can't grab ledges with guns in your hands because, you know, they're, they're taken up with guns. This is not a game I ever thought anyone would mod into full motion-controlled first-person VR. Ah! 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 It's a bloody good job we've got, like, unlimited ammo in this game because my aim is abysmal. Look, there's a hole in the gun. It doesn't quite... <laughs> it, do it doesn't quite attach to its handle. Um, yeah, really glad you have unlimited ammo because, yeah, it would be a mess otherwise. Uh, right, where are the wolves? I want to shoot some wolves in their stupid faces. I'm really glad I bought the remastered Tomb Raider um, trilogy now because it means I get to play this. I've been enjoying the uh, remastered trilogy, don't get me wrong. Um, can I interact with that? Cool, so there... Oh, she's done it twice! Put it down, you knob! Right, so... Like, oh, open? Oh, what am I doing? Pull the thing! Thank you, Lara. You idiot. Right, there's wolves in there, I'm almost certain. Um, yeah, really glad I bought the remastered trilogy because it's really cool. I've been enjoying playing it. But this is this is next level. Get 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 dead. Yeah, aiming is 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 tough, to say the least. Uh not not doing great at the old aiming thing. <laughs> there are wolves down there. I don't know if I want to go down. Take that! Ah, I can kill you from up here! You can't stop me! Oh, it's just going to run off. All right. Maybe I should go down there. That's the fun of this, right? <laughs> Fighting them up. Oh, no, there's another one. Die, wolf! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I've already bad look at it. It's actually quite cute. That one's freaking out. He's going through the wall. Oi, stop it. Stop going through the wall. Damn, this is cool. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Dinner time. Dinner time for me. I'm going to feast on your flesh. Look at this little creepy fella. Oh, he's wobbling about. Why is he wobbling about? I don't remember him wobbling about like that. I don't appreciate it. He's leaning back to look at me. Oh, it's weird. Stop it, you freak. Okay, my worries about the controls are subsiding as I play. It, it, it feels very playable. I should have just trusted the guys at Team Beef to know what they're doing because, as I say, they put a lot of love and care into the ports. They never just rush them out for the sake of it. Um, and I think they always want to make sure that they are playable, like you can get through the game, you can do the things you're supposed to to progress. But I was worried because it's such an odd game. Like, it, it doesn't control like anything else I've ever played. Like, it's so particular. And you do have to learn those controls. This looks great, by the way. Uh, right, walk to the edge. Okay, and then grab. It's bloody working. Oh, no, I've gone through something. No, it's fine. Okay, little bit glitchy. I didn't actually leave the map there, but it looked like I did. Okay, what is this? Do I do I punch? What is that? Do I do I shoot that? Uh, what what even is it? I don't understand. Interact. Save game. Yes. It's a save point. Uh, I've never seen that before in my life. 
Ah! Die! Okay, so much easier in VR. Ah! <laughs> you can absolutely annihilate the wolves. Oh, I can't wait to get to the level with all the monkeys and lions. I'm going to destroy those stupid idiots. Oh, I thought there was a wolf behind me. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got scared for a second there. Oh, man. Okay. Do you reckon that floor is going to break when I stand on it? Oh, my God, there's a wolf! Ah! Where did you come from? You freak! That's what you get. Bloody heck. I was saying, do you reckon that's going to break when I stand on it? Yes. Ah! Sound effects are so good. Oh, I made the jump. Now, because this is a classic game, an old school game from a very different time period, uh, you have to make sure you're saving pretty consistently. Because if you don't save, oh my god, ah, um, and then you die, you could lose tons of progress. Tomb Raider doesn't play around. And I do think on the control scheme that Team Beef publicized, X, pressing X is a quick save. I'm not getting any kind of notification that it's saving. Um, but if I go to load, uh, latest quick or crystal save. I don't want to chance it in case I lose it, but I do believe pressing X is a, is a quick save, which is which is cool. It's it's a, it's a handy feature to have because um, yeah, it's very easy to lose loads of progress in this if you forget to save. There we go. I think that's the end of the level. Yippee! No secrets. Brilliant. I'm, I smashed that. Fantastic. It's seamless. You go straight into the next bit, the next level. That's bloody better than the, <laughs> better than the remastered version, which has loads of loading. Ah! Oh, good lord! There's dogs everywhere. Ah! Okay. Die, dog. Come on. Stop this. Stop. Stop. Okay. Another dog dead. Right. Stop running around. Stop it. Oh, for Lord's sake. Come on. Where's that dog gone? Stop. Don't go where the bats are. Get protection from the bloody bat. Ah! Oh, my God. The wolf ran off and now, ah, now left with bats. Uh. Okay, I cannot hit these bats. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Why are you like this? Oh, okay. Right. I think this level is a little bit bigger. All, all I really want to do is get to, like, the T-Rex. Okay, pushing these boulders or, like, uh, blocks is a little bit weird. I'm, like, clipping through it. She has her own animations that she's doing. So if I move my head, it feels a little bit nauseating. Okay, are we through? No, not quite through. Right, I think there might be a bear in here that we can fight. Oh, my God! Ah! Jesus! He's so big! <laughs> But again, so much easier to kill in VR because you can just go mental with the guns. Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely bonkers. Right. Uh, what was the point in killing that bear? I just feel a bit mean now. Up we go. Yeah, lots of kind of like clipping. Um, the world kind of disappears if you turn your head uh, when carrying out like an animation and stuff. But it's, it's fairly minor. Fairly minor, weird little kind of glitches like that. It's nothing that's going to ruin the experience of playing this. Not for me, anyway. I wonder if Dr. Greg VR is going to play through this whole thing again now that it's in VR. Because he's just played through basically all of this game on stream flat. But he's primarily a VR dude. So I'm curious to know, like... <laughs> is, is he going to do it again? Uh, let's put the key in there, please. Key in the keyhole, Lara. You've missed the keyhole. Okay, nope, you've done it. That'll do. Fantastic. Oh, ah, ah, no. Arrows, ah. <laughs> Stupid arrows. Kill the dogs. Kill the dogs before they get up. Can't hit, can't hit the dog. Right, dog's dead. Any more dogs? Oh my god, there are more dogs. Oh, there's so many more dogs. This becomes basically like doom. Uh, when you play it like this, it's, it's it's extraordinary how different the game is in first person. It, it's just like an all-out action FPS. Um, <laughs> whereas the third person flat version is really methodical. Oh, I hate this room. Oh, okay. I wonder if I can do this in VR. Because this took me a few attempts in um, on flat. All right. One of those. Easy peasy. 
clip through the world. Nice, that's how we like it. This bit kind of ruined me. Um, right, let's walk to this corner. Okay. I think it's much easier now. Yeah. I, I couldn't make that, that jump for ages when I played it flat. Maybe I'm just shit. Maybe I'm just shit at video games. That is a... Oh, that is a chance. Okay, run to the edge. Easy. Look, this is much easier in VR. Holy hell. Ah, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Ah, something happens here. Yep. <laughs> I remember that. And again. Yep, swingy bastards. Swingy bastard. There we go. All right, pull that. Oh, I'm in the water. Okay, I've gone into the water for some reason. Not sure what happened there. Not scary. Um, up here. What am I hearing? I thought I heard like a monster just then. Better not be an alligator in here with me. I'll be really angry. There's a bloody bear over there just chilling out. Where are you you're going? Nowhere, sunshine. Straight to hell. Straight to ruddy hell. Okay, uh, and now we drop down here. And we put the little thing in there, I think, that I've got. Um, there we go. Put that into the thing. We leave the level. I think we're done. Nice. Done. I think the most impressive thing about this is you, you finish a level and you just go straight into the next one. No lag. No loading. It's, it's super seamless and really impressive. Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to get to the T-Rex uh, unless it's this level. If it's this level, I'm going to do it. If it's not, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Take that. Take that. I've got to kill them before I even get there. That's so good. Hell yeah. All right. Down we go now that it's safe. Oh, a skeleton. A scary, scary skeleton. Whoa, look at that. It's basically a horror game. Whoa, look at that. Forget Madison VR. This is this is the real horror. <gasps> this is the T-Rex bit. This is all I wanted to do. Amazing. Right, let's fight the T-Rex. And the raptors. Ah! It's <laughs> so cool. Look at him. Oh, my God. So good. Oh, what the hell? Ah, uh, this is like... This is some seriously special next level... VR modding. I am blown away. Team B, Dr. B have done it again. Do yourselves a favor, get hold of the original Tomb Raider on PC. You'll need to. That's how you get the files to be able to play the entirety of the first game in VR. Or pick up the remastered version because that also includes the files that you need to play this. If I know Dr. B, I could be wrong and I don't want to kind of overstretch, but if they've got this working for the first game, part of me thinks they won't stop there. I'd like to think they'll probably do. Oh my god, the second and the third! <laughs> Look at him! Oh, it's so good! Look at you, you big, weird, <laughs> polyagonal freak! You're not smooth at all! He's not even trying to kill me. He knows that he doesn't stand a chance against Lara Croft. He knows he doesn't stand a chance. He's barely, like, connected together. It's like Lego. Oh, my God. Take that. What are you going to do? Hey? Are you going to roar at me? Oh, you are going to roar at me. That's so cool. Oh, what a an amazing mod this is. I, I highly recommend this. You can get hold of it now in early access by joining Team Beef's Patreon. Um... You'll also get access to all their other fantastic mods, amazing, uh, like Wolfenstein, uh, Wrath, Aeon of Ruin, Half-Life, they've done so many, Doom, Doom 3, but this is their newest one, and it is an absolute triumph. Uh, once again, Dr. Beef proving that VR doesn't have to be constrained to just the games that feel like they would be a good fit. I never, ever would have thought Tomb Raider would work in first person, full motion controlled VR. And here I am blasting through it much easier than I did <laughs> playing it flat screen with a controller and on a monitor in front of me. That's crazy to me. Right, hope you enjoyed everyone. If you have, please do leave a like, drop a comment, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon for another one. I'll put a link to Dr. Beef's Patreon in the description to this video. And if you want to 
get stuck into this, you can do right now. Take care of yourselves, everyone. I will see you soon for another one. Goodbye.